Did you know that thinking of your loved one in heaven in this moment, that they are with you? Mm -hmm. As you think of your loved ones on the other side and speak of them and recall memories with them, they're with you in that exact moment. And so anytime that you feel alone, like you'd wanna connect with them, you want to experience them, you just want to feel them nearby, simply think of them and ask them to come into your space. Ask them to show you those signs. Ask them to come into your dreams. Ask them to let you know that they are with you and they will. Now here are five ways that you can really honor your loved one in heaven and really create a beautiful, beautiful way of honoring their life and the legacy that they've left. And most importantly, for, for you to find a different way to move through your grief, especially this time of year as we move into the holidays. So number one is create a memory space. Yeah, create a memory space for your loved one. You can have pictures, you can have um, memorabilia, you can have different items that belong to them, such as jewelry or um, any, or, you know, oftentimes I've seen figurines. People will send pictures of their beautiful memory spaces that they've created for their loved ones. They may have um, their ashes, they may have their favorite belongings, whatever that is. Create a beautiful, beautiful space in your home that honors your loved one on the other side. Number two, you can write letters to your loved ones. I find this is something that I recommend to all of my clients. It's incredibly cathartic when we are able to um, give our emotions and our thoughts and our loss and our grief words and we're able to express it. It's a way of clearing the energy. It's a way of assisting us with our grieving process. So you can write a letter to your loved one. You can hang on to it if you'd like, if it's in a journal, or you can even burn the letter. And when we burn the letter, the way I see it in my world from a spiritual standpoint is that the angels take the words and they transmute them to heaven. And that will assist in your longing or missing them, your grief, your mourning. Number three, visit their resting place. If you feel called to visit their resting place, absolutely go and know that they're there with you when you're visiting. I have so many people message me from all over the world. Um, you know, on their birthday, they will go and visit their loved one and they'll bring wine or they'll bring a picnic or they'll blow bubbles, they'll bring children. Yeah, absolutely. Do that if that resonates for you. And know that when you're there, your loved one is there with you energetically. They're there with you in spirit. Because you see, even though we die and we are no longer in our physical body, we're still 100% alive in spirit. Number four is hold a memorial ritual. More and more people are doing this and it's so beautiful. On the anniversary of someone's crossing, they are gathering a group of friends together and they're honoring their loved one. They're, they're, they're cooking and baking their loved one's favorite foods. They are lighting candles. They have pictures. They're thinking of their loved one. They're sharing just that beautiful, beautiful essence of their loved one. And it's so, so important to find what works for you. And memorial rituals are beautiful because on the anniversary of their crossing, of their transition, they're with you. They know that it's going to be difficult. They know that it's going to be an adjustment and they want you to know that they're with you every step of the way. And again, that they're literally, literally a thought away. And number five, share stories, share stories. And this can be incorporated into your uh, memorial ritual is to share stories. Grief Box is a beautiful company that I'm affiliated with in the States. They put together grief boxes and they will send those out to people after they've lost a loved one. And they're so, so beautiful. And in their box, they actually have cards and they will hand those cards out to family members and friends and anyone who touched their loved one. And they will have them share stories and share memories, keep their memory alive, right? You know, one of my favorite, favorite people uh, was my uncle Russell and his nickname for me was Snipe. And anytime he comes in, I just hear Snipe and that's him. And everybody knew me as Snipe. <laughs> so... 
again, sharing that beautiful story and that beautiful memory brings him close to my heart. And it's so, so beautiful. So drop me a comment below. Let me know how you are honoring your loved ones in heaven.